Hello, hello, and welcome back. We have a little bit of a different video today. We're still talking about BMNG, but today we're talking about servers. You can see here, I'm in my favorites section in the BMNG multiplayer, and I have two servers that I have favorites. My server, which is actually my old laptop that I ran a server off of, and I still occasionally do for testing purposes. Uh, and that worked most of the time, but it has its own issues. And then my hosted server. Um, so hosting your own server on your laptop, your computer, spare computer, the computer you're playing on is definitely doable. It does have some caveats though. You have port forwarding that you have to deal with that A, can be a pain depending on your network and B, you are opening your computer up to the internet for the internet to access. If you don't know what you're doing, you are potentially giving a nice back door to anyone to access your files. It's, uh, you know, opening your computer to the internet comes with risks. Not only that, anytime people need to download any files from the server, they're being downloaded using your internet from your computer, slowing down your internet speeds and slowing down your processing. So... It can be done. I did that for years. But if you're willing to shell out a few dollars, going with a hosted server makes it so much easier. All right, so we're going to talk about what I am using now. I'm using AsetoHosting.com. You can see here I'm on their website. Obviously, they started off, I believe, as just doing uh, servers for Aseto Corsa. But now they have a handful of other games, including BeamNG server hosting. Now, if you've looked into server hosting in the past, prices can be all over the place. These guys, I think, very, very reasonably priced. Um, yeah, two euro a month, four euro a month, six euro a month, euro, approximately a dollar, give or take, depending on the current exchange rate. But you know, the one that I use for my private server, I have the six euro per month um, plan, which I think is, it's a no brainer for me. Now, full disclosure, I am a paying member. I'm going to continue paying for my server. Aceto Hosting has offered uh, for making this video that I'll be able to get a public uh, server here that I can make public for all of you so that you can play. Uh, we can set up whatever maps uh, you want, whatever mod you want, let me know down below. And I can leave that up and running. You can go on there, you can test it out, see how good it works. Um, so that's something that the Seto Hosting is providing, but I just wanted to be upfront. I don't want anyone to think that I'm trying to hide the fact that they are giving something, but they're giving something to all of us, not to me. But that being said, just wanted to let you know. But yeah, so I'm going to be continuing using their hosting service. I mean, it's, like I said, it's a no-brainer for me. So I'm going to kind of give you a little walkthrough of what it looks like and how how it's used. Let me pull up. But whenever you first sign up, you'll get username and password sent to you via email. Obviously, you have a login screen with the link that they give you that you can... Put in your username and password, pop in. When you get in, you're in your server management area. Now this is everything that you need for your server. Server control, it's first button. Important things here, starting your server, restarting your server. And if you ever hosted your own server, the uh, server command prompt that has all the log files it shows you that right there. So you can see when someone is joining, what ID they're assigned, all that stuff. In the top right, you have the direct connect button. This has your IP address and port. If you hit the copy button here and we go back to BeamNG, go to direct connect, you hit paste from clipboard, it'll paste it right in and you can directly connect. If you're doing a private server, that's how you and anyone else you want to connect will have to connect. 
if you're doing a public server, your server will be in public servers and you don't need to do that unless you want to. But that's also a way that you could add it into your favorites, add custom server, put that IP address and port right here, and then it'll save in your favorite so that you can quickly get back to it. So that's the that's the important things under server control. Now, config this when you first set it up, this is where we're gonna need to choose what your server name is going to be. Uh, the auth key will already be put in there. They already take care of that. Um, whether you want your server to be private or public. Private, meaning they have to use that direct connect with the correct IP address and port to access. Public means it'll be put up and anyone can join. You get to uh, pick the number of vehicles you want each person to be able to have. 1 to 25. Obviously, the more vehicles you have, the lagger things can get. So you kind of need to balance it depending on what you're doing. And the max players. Now this will be determined, the maximum number is determined based on what plan you pick. But you can go anywhere from 1 up to that number. It's also where you will select your map. You can select any of the vanilla maps. If you want to do a mod map, I will show you a little bit later how that is done. Um, you can put your description and then just, uh, you know, standard uh, server manager theme. All right, so content is the next tab. This is where you put your mods. You can see I have a few mods on my server. Uh, it shows you how much space you have. You can just drag and drop files right here, or you can browse, find the file on your computer, and upload it that way. Now, as it sits right now, once you upload a mod, it is enabled. It will be on the server. Restart your server. Anyone that joins will download that mod. I believe they are working on having a checkbox or something where you can disable mods so if you are saying hey you know what i want to get rid of a couple of these mods like i don't want tire thermals uh or the drafting mod right now you could uncheck it and that way you don't have to delete it and then re-upload it later but for now it's easy enough that you can just delete and then re-upload whenever you want to re-enable them but that is uh something i've been told is coming in the future now this is also where i was saying if you wanted custom maps you would drop your custom map in here as well. But you have to let the server know that it, you have a map in there. So, for example, I have in my mods folder, if I come here, Car Jump Arena NG. This is a 2024 Car Jump Arena. So, I was able to drag and drop that right in here, and it uploaded. But to make make it accessible as a map, come over to maps, and you have to add in, which I already have in here, but slash levels, slash the name of the folder, and let me uh, pull that open for you. So, and what you're doing is basically you're telling it where the info file is. So if you double click this, there's your slash levels, and then car jump arena ng. And then after that is the uh, info.json file. So when you add a custom level, you do have to do that. Um, it's simple enough once you understand the first time that you basically just need that folder name from inside there. And it's slash levels, that folder name, info.json. And then important, make sure you hit save. I can't tell you, there's been a few times where I would go to add a map and I'm like, oh, I do this and quick, go back and restart the server. And now you have to hit save. And then once you hit save, back in that config file, since you added it in there, it now shows up under the maps here. So you can see I have the car jump arena, I have Realm Rock, Tillamook, etc. So those that's how you get maps added into this if you do a custom map. You just add it to the content and then change the levels preset just add to it your new map now that's all of the client side mods taken care of 
they do have a new feature, and this is still in the works, so there's not a ton of options at the moment. But under plugins, these are server side mods. So, countdown timer, if you've seen your favorite YouTubers, um, you know, have where the multiplayer chat does a countdown, this does that, that aspect, you know, you type slash start and it'll do a countdown. Uh, nickel moderation, that's just a, uh, moderation tool for your server if you want to be able to kick people, make people staff, do that kind of stuff. Um... And then race MP. I've not actually played around with this one yet, but I'm excited to do so. This uh, adds some racing events, if you will, for a few tracks. Now, I believe they're going to be adding more of these as they get them sorted, figured out, and make sure that they're okay with uh, you know putting these on their plugin manager list. But... The people over at Assetto Hosting have been wonderful to work with. I actually you know, emailed them their support and asked, hey, is it possible that I can get this added? And they have helped me in the past. So I'm assuming that this is going to be continuing to you know, progress and give you more options. But there's already options in there now, which is great. That's actually new just uh, within the last, um, I think, few weeks. Um, after plugins, under more options... There's a three three more things to look at. Accounts. This is where your admin account is. You can add separate accounts. If you saw my last video with Z-Man, uh, I actually added him as an admin on my server so that he could run stuff uh, himself through that. Um, say for some reason, I don't want him to do that anymore. You can come in, you can edit and change him from admin to no access. You can also, instead of doing admin, you can just give read, write, and delete privileges. If you don't trust or you don't know the person all that well, <laughs> stick with uh, read and write type privileges instead of admin. You don't want them to have full control. I trust Z-Man. I know, I've known him for a long time. So that's why I let him have admin access in case he needs to do anything on the admin side of it. You can also reset passwords for the uh, other people. Whenever you first create an account uh you add an account it'll give you a password at the beginning you'll send that to the person they'll log in the first time with that password and it'll prompt them to change it so only they have their password you can't see their password but you can reset their password if they forget what they did you can come in here you can hit the reset password get a new one for them and beyond that current config this is literally just a printout of the config text file this is basically everything that you had selected in the config tab this is what the the server the program actually sees from that um it's read only because it's very easy if you start messing messing around in here to just make the server not work so it's read only just basically if you need to get this information for troubleshooting if you want to be able to look, oh, what do I have these servers set at? You could you know, open up multiple servers, look at these, and compare them quickly. Um, but mostly for troubleshooting. Shouldn't need to be in here, but it's nice that they have the option that you can go in and take a look if you need to figure out why it's not working the way you want it to work. And speaking of that, you can look at the server logs, um, the server and server manager logs. It's nice you can see who's joined what uh you know if they're requesting a new mod off of the server etc and then look at the actual server manager make sure everything's in there once again shouldn't really need to use this unless you're curious about who's joined your server while you were away if you leave it up and running um, or if you have any issues and you want to look through here and figure out, okay, well, why, you know, why isn't X, Y, or Z working? You might, you know, you might be able to find some information in here, but if you're just doing simple mod, simple plugins, you should never really need to be in here unless you want to be. 
And then after that, the last thing that we can do, just uh, go ahead and hit start. And our system loaded countdown, plug in manager, um, load seven mods where everything is good to go, everything is okay. And we come back in here and we connect. And oh, I'm going to get a bunch of stuff because I have errors from my Beam MP that I need to take care of. But start loading your resources and it'll put you in. Now, of course, how long it takes to get in depends on number of resources and the size of the resources. Even if you've already downloaded the resources, it has to load the resource, which I believe is literally BeamMP copying the file from where it holds all of your resources into a temporary folder that it reads for the current mods. So... That's why the size and number of resources still matters, even if you already have them downloaded. But then, once you got those loaded, bam, fires right up. We're good to go. And we are in Car Jump Arena 2024, which, if you watched the last video, that's where we just were. So, yeah, you can see I, I am in a different country from... My uh, server, my server is actually located up in Canada. I'm in the United States, but not too far away. It is the closest location, but ping of 22 milliseconds is nothing. And I have not had any issues with this at all. And I've had a lot better luck with this than with running my own server. So there you go. It's uh, acetohosting.com. One of many different hosting sites but the one that I use. Hopefully this was uh, easy to follow rundown for you. If you have any questions on how to use it, let me know. If I know the answer, I'll let you know. If I don't know the answer, well, we can get the answer together from a set of hosting. And yeah, hope you enjoy. Keep an eye open for that public server that I'll be putting up there. You can jump in there and test it. It'll put in there, you know, it'll have Butch 13 Gaming uh, server hosted by Aceto Hosting or something along those lines. And uh, I, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, have any suggestions, if you love, have anything that you want to see on that uh, server, any mods, let me know, put them down below. All right, have yourself a good one. Thanks. Peace.